Well, good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy, and we're continuing our study in Romans, and we're still in chapter one. I want us to look at verse five today. There is some powerful stuff in this verse. Romans 1 5 says this Through Christ, God has given us the privilege and authority as apostles to tell Gentiles everywhere what God has done for them so that they will believe and obey him and bring glory to his name. Man, can I tell you, there's a lot in there that we could talk about, but the thing that jumped out to me is that he said, he starts it off through Christ. So everything that he's about to say is through Christ and what he did for us, the fact that he died on the cross for us, purchasing our salvation because of that, through that, he says this, God has given us the privilege. That word privilege is also the word we get our word grace from. So he's given us the privilege and authority as apostles uh, to tell Gentiles everywhere what God's done for them. So God has given us, he, Paul's saying, the privilege or he's given us by grace and he's given us the authority. Can I tell you, God is still giving us grace and the privilege and authority to share about him and what God has done for us today and we should be sharing. And it is a privilege to tell other people what Christ has done for us. It's a privilege. It's through grace. It's through Christ that we even have a story at all. So we've got to share our story. As my friend Stan says, in order to keep it, you got to give it away. And that's the way the gospel is. We've got to keep giving it away. We've got to keep sharing it. We've got to keep going. And it's a privilege. It's an honor. It's through grace. And we have the authority. Can I tell you, you have the authority given to you by Christ to speak out in his name. That should encourage you. That should give you some boldness to say, you know what? God has got me. He's the one who set this up. He's the one who's told me to do this. I have the authority of God. I have all of his authority put on me to share what he's done for me. And can I tell you, if you've been saved more than two seconds, you have a story to share. God has done some amazing things for you just in the fact that you have a relationship with him. What's your story? How did you come to Christ? What was your life like before you met Christ? How did you come to Christ? And how is your life different now? That's your story. We use Christianese sometimes and call that your testimony. So what's your testimony? Can I ask you, when did you share it last? D.L. Moody, a great preacher of years gone by, uh, was giving an invitation one time and someone came up to him after the service and says, can I tell you, I don't like the way you do an invitation. And D.L. Moody looked at him and says, well, I don't really much like it either. How are you inviting people to come to Jesus? And the person looked at D.L. Moody and says, well, I'm not. And D.L. Moody said, well, I like my way better. <laughs> We've all been given a story to tell and we need to share it. We have the authority of God to share it. So why do we share it? Um, so that they will believe, so that other people will come into a relationship with Jesus and obey him so that they will become a disciple of him and they will bring glory to his name. That's the job of every Christian to bring glory to the name of Jesus, to honor him. And that's why we share our faith so that others will come into a relationship with him so that they will become disciples and so that they <laughs> will bring glory to God. Man, how powerful is that? I hope you'll share your story with somebody today. You have a story. You have the authority. You know what's going to happen when you do it. So do it. Take every opportunity and every advantage to share what God has done for you. I hope you get into God's Word and read it for yourself. Until tomorrow, God bless you and have a great day.